Yeah, so good morning, everybody, yeah, and welcome to October. Thank you for joining me. Let's have a hug. <laughs> we made it through September. Things are going to get easier. I was sharing with uh, somebody last night that um, this mantra that I use of, um, you know, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> She said, yeah, but what if it isn't? I said, well, you've just been, in, increase the chances of it being okay by saying it's all gonna be okay. And if we can just say to the body, it's all gonna be okay, then it does have an impact on our world and how we feel. So, and that's really the main thing because it's just getting through every moment, isn't it? Moment by moment. Let's change over the cross of the legs and have a hug as a group. And we're going to be in the uh, movement sessions this month in October. So, of course, we're embodying the goddess, finding that strength, that fire within us, being our authentic self. But we're also looking at how we balance the hormones. And the main part of the uh, movement section, like the, what we do, um, is going to be uh, balancing our cortisol levels and in most cases that's going to be lowering cortisol so one of the great purposes um, of exercise is to lower cortisol that will have an impact on everything and when we go into the course the the pyramid we'll look at how cortisol affects the different other hormones eventually estrogen progesterone so one of the main things we want to do is release the stress from the body cortisol is a stress hormone a lot of us want, you know, we've got high cortisol levels. This can cause a few issues. So let's take the hands down to the ground and let's just ground it for a moment. Just feeling into the body. Whatever's been happening this weekend, here we are in Monday. Embracing Monday. And Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, like I've done previously, we're going to be doing a little bit more strength training. Now, strength training for... Um, women as we um, you know it's not going to be the same for we're in our 20s early 30s as we head later into our uh, second year I'm calling it as uh, we want to be really careful with that balance when we're doing any kind of a movement that we don't raise cortisol levels to a point that they stay raised but we want to do rest-based training so we go a bit like high intensity training we're going to do some strength building but then we're going to rest and soften. That's the embodiment of the goddess. Fierce. And then equal proportion. Soft. So let's just drop in. Let's just drop into this moment, into the glass this morning. Here we are. <sighs> just take a few breaths where you just breathe in fully and exhale and just relax inside. Breathe out. Here we are, here we are. Breathing in fully. Slight hold and breathing out, just letting go and feel the breath in the body as we drop down from our heads. Our awareness down to our seat. Just to this place deep within us, I'm going to call it our seed. Just above our root, which is where we connect to the earth. It's the seed of us. Think of it just as like your unique DNA held in that seed, but also your unique life path held in that seed. And let's br just breathe from there, just giving that area some nourishment. So rather than breathing from up in the chest, just send the awareness down into the lower belly. And breathe from that area. Notice how that just brings you into your center. So we arrive here this morning, the beginning of new month. Just taking a moment to consider what might be in that seat. All oh, that's not yet, that potential that's not yet been manifest. A 
slowly bring the hands onto the knees and start to circle slowly, really slowly. Then you know, just the seed stirring. I often deal uh, talk about that in springtime, seed stirring. But autumn is also a great time to bath new ideas, tend to the seeds. I'm going to give this seed a little bit of fire. So my part of my intention for you this week, this month, and going into next month is to find your inner goddess, and that requires finding the, the, the fire within you. I'm going to work you a little bit with Carly Goddess. Often known as a goddess of death and destruction, but she's actually transformation. Just giving yourself that little bit of oomph. That motivation to get up in the morning, that purpose that's bigger than, you know, bigger than you maybe, or that just as you find in that fire in the belly. It could be a new project, or it could be movement goals. Let's change over the cross of the legs and some of our movements and I've designed them so that you can see progress in terms of your strength. It's really important for us as women to um, do resistance training. Uh, things like kettlebells and weights are great, but there's a lot of things that we can do, just body weight exercises, which I'm gonna share with you today. So where you don't need any equipment, that's my favorite. Not even a minute. Let's go out to the woods and crawl like a bear. Something like that. Okay, let's take a big yawning breath. Oh, and welcome the day. Oh, stretch one side, stretch the other side. Oh, just feeling into your body. Twiddle the fingers, suck the wrists. And let's take the hands behind the head. Let's just drop the shoulders down. We want to find our seat. So plugging in through your sit bones, feel the spine long, but without the shoulders lifting up. See the difference there? That's horrible. Isn't it? Just let the shoulders relax. Just gently press the head back into the hands and notice how that just opens everything up. This is gonna, this is kind of a bit of a power starting pose to find your inner goddess. It's like ball here. I wanna like I've just got in my head, I just want to, you know, but it's like the channeling Wonder Woman. If you've seen the new Wonder Woman film, Gal Gadot, she's like ball. she's so strong and feminine. She's a goddess. Breathe into the front of the chest, feel yourself wide and feel the shoulder blades wide on the back so they're not pinning back together. Just feel everything wide across the body. Space to breathe, bringing in space for this fire to build in the belly. Release the arms and just give the shoulders a shrug. Just a little wake us up in the morning. Our next little wake up is going to be really great for the core. So be careful if you're taking care of any part of the body. If uh, rocking back isn't for you, you can come and roll down onto the back. But what we're going to do, we're going to start, I'm just come to the side, and stay facing forward. Just take the legs out, just give them a little kick. Nice and playful. We're going to remind ourselves when we're working with strength and power. Play is the most conducive state to learning and to developing. So we want to keep the playfulness, keep the light for them light in it so what we're going to do is we're going to rock back and then we're going to rock up and we're going to open out the arms we're going to rock back inhale big yawning stretch exhale rock back so it's pretty hard to open up here like open up the shoulders open out the arms that's pretty tough work maybe you want to straighten out the legs a little bit more but it's just a little bit, we want a little bit of effort in. Only for about 15 seconds, not so much longer. And then we're going to hold at the top. Just rest the heels down for a moment. This one I think is going to be easiest to show you from this side. So we're going to go from that position, a little warm up. <laughs> Make sure to walk back and rock off here. 
legs are going to come up. We're going to bend the right leg underneath you and plant the left foot in front. The right hand's going to come behind like a rock star. What we're going to do is push down into the back hand. We're going to send this left arm straight up in the air. Breathing in, push down into the back hand, lift off the hips and then look down to that back hand, bringing the left arm alongside the ear, just feeling that whole side of the body lengthen out and then come back to your seat. We come back to the center, open the arms and legs. We bend the left leg in, the right foot plants, the left hand comes behind. We take an inhale, we'll reach the arm up first, the hips up first, and then take the arm alongside the ear as you look down towards that back hand, lowering down. So take an inhale, open, take an exhale, plant the feet, ready. Take an inhale, reach up, boom. I'm gonna call this rock star, rock goddess. <laughs> Coming down, breathing in. Opening out, you can open the legs out wider if you like. Thing is, it's all under your conscious control, how much effort you put in. You put in the effort from the inside, that's much more powerful than anything. You know, I'm saying, go this hard. No, you're putting the effort in. It's coming from you, your power. Breathing in, we lift. It can even lift off the front toe if you like. Breathing out and lower and breathing in. Legs apart, breathing out, plant the feet. Breathing in, lift up, breathing out, lowering down, and then just bring the legs in front. We're going to just hug the legs from here. And this part here is a little tricky. What we're going to do is we're going to take the feet apart. We are going to come to a squat from here. So, however you get there, it's okay. But just the way to get there is to use the hands to push off and bring the hands in front. So we're in a squat. So this isn't for you, just find another way to, and it could be just coming a little further up. So I'm just gonna go through that again. We're literally coming from here. And we're rolling over, bringing the hands forward. It's a little challenge, okay? So it's pretty hard. And then from here, we're gonna circle the knees. Oh, so you probably got, you see, I've got my heels lifted. Circling the knees, <laughs> everything's kind of working pretty hard here, but it's also loosening off the hips and then go in the other direction. Nice. Okay, now from here, we're going to lift off the tailbone, plant the feet, drop the head, take the feet so they're parallel. Just really feel your feet connect to the earth, still on the fingertips. Soft bend in the knees and just let the belly nestle down between the legs. Mm, feel free to move around, whatever feels nice. Rest in the straw from here. And let's bend the knees. Let's roll, 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 roll up. Breathing in. And here's our kind of wide goddess opening. As we breathe out, we're going to bend the knees. The tailbone goes back. We're going to go into a squat almost a seed from here, like rolling in, and then we're gonna drive through the feet. We roll up, we press the hips forward, there's our inhale. There's a big like, embodiment of the goddess coming from seed out to expansion. We bend the knees, we go low as you can in a squat. Now the squat, the tailbone goes back rather than the knees like too far forward. We roll and we curl in, we press down into the feet, Drive up through the legs. Inhale, full expansion. Here I am. That's the embodiment of the goddess. Bend the knees. Draw it in. Folding down. Breathing in. Slowly rolling up. Use the strength in the legs and feel everything open. Body is going to love this stuff. You can really wake it up. Exhale. As we exhale, we go down. Tailbone goes down. So we squat as far as we can, low down. So we might even be able to come all the way down to the floor. So I'm almost on the floor there. Oh, and then we roll up. We want to be really conscious of what's going on in the spine. That's why it's really important, not just go through the motions, but to feel it. That's gonna make it mindful. Work with breath, it's all going to help lower cortisol. 
when we're mindful, when we're taking care, when we're in feeling mode. Slowing down. See if you can go a little lower in your squat. Here's a really good way for you to measure your progress. Let's just have a pause there, relax the arms and shake out the tree. So just shake the tree, just shake, just whatever feels good, just rest time. So what we want to be able to do, a squat is a really great functional exercise. Now, if we can actually squat and see, I can come all the way down to a squat, even with hands off and my heels down, there's perfect kind of strength and flexibility to be able to go up and down from there. It's a very functional move and combines those two things. So don't worry if you can't get there right yet because we're gonna be progressing through the month. Like, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? I've got so much in my head. <laughs> or in my body, I should say. Let's take an inhale, reaching up. So much more new stuff. Which I'm excited about. We're gonna roll down. We're gonna take the fingertips down. We're gonna come to our squat, but we're gonna open out the knees and lift the heels and just circle the knees again. One direction and the other direction. Just, you know, be careful with your knees. They're so complicated. There's so much that's going on in them. All right, take care of your knees. Okay, from here, just shift it around. I'm gonna bring the hands forward. We're gonna kind of come onto the hands and knees. And just press, I tuck the toes and just press back. A moment, getting ready for action. Now this next movement is one of my favorite movements for building strength in the whole of the body. I prefer it over plank. Kind of taking with the mantle that Clank had for you know, we could core building exercise. I find this even better. So we come onto all fours, so it's a quadruped. With the arms, we push the earth away so we feel the shoulder blades spread out across the back. So already we're feeling engaged. We take an inhale and then we draw the hip bones together. So we're hollowing out the lower belly. So already feeling engaged. Keep that braced position, but keep breathing. And all we do is just lift off the knees. Bear pose. And we're going to smile and breathe. I'm going to maybe hold for 20 seconds here to start with. So that, that might be a case of slowly building up strength to be able to hold for 20 uh, seconds. But, uh, you know, it's all progress. So we're nearly there. Another five. Four, three, two, one, and drop down and rest. Our rest position from here is to come down onto the belly. So today, don't worry about how far, like how much you manage, because today's really about just setting the foundations. We're at the beginning of the month. So rock the hips and rest. Ah, even bang your toes. That's great. And moving. And let's come back onto all fours. So we're going to uh, develop this movement. I'm going to come forward. You should miss. So where are we going to go? It's a little mini sequence. I call them movement snacks. So you can just go out into the woods and do this like, really fast. And it's, uh, a little burst of energy, burst of fitness. So we're going to come to the brace position. We're going to lift off the knees and we're going to swing the knees to the right. So you come down onto the left hip. Yeah. Now we've got the right foot planted. We're going to keep the left arm where it is and we're going to lift up the right arm, bring it alongside the ear. So it's another variation of our world thing. We're just doing it low level today. So that's enough. And then lower down. The arms come back, then we're going to switch around towards the front. So just go whoosh, switch back to bear pose. You got it. Yeah. So take an inhale, brace belly in, push the earth away, knees lift off, swing the knees to the, to the left. And exhale. Press down into your left foot. You can change the position of that foot. So feel free to turn it out a bit more towards the back. Lift off the hips, the heart, and bring the arm alongside the body. Big strength in there. And then lower down. And then this bit is a little bit of a fast, a fast switch. It's fast twitch muscles going. 
you just go whoosh, back around. Best with the sound effect, right? <laughs> this describes it better. Okay, take an inhale and brace. Belly in, push the earth away. Brace, knees off, knees right, hips down as you exhale. Take an inhale, lift the right arm overhead. Take an exhale and lower down. Take an inhale, switch. Yeah, it's like Wonder Woman sound effects, isn't it? Push the earth away, brace as you inhale. Exhale to move. Inhale to reach, lift. And exhale, coming down. Inhale, switch, back to the front. Let's do that one more time, each side. It gets more exciting than this as well. We build on this. I really like it. Breathing in. Brace. Breathe out. Switch. Breathe in. Reach. Breathe out. Lower. Breathe in round to the front. Yeah. Okay. Breathe in. Brace. Knees off. Breathe out. Switch. Breathe in. Arm along over the side of the head. Breathe out. Come down. Switch. One more time each side, just at your own pace. See if you can just do it self-guided. Let your body find its way. Round to the front. We're going to take the body forward, come down onto the forearms and rest. So you probably didn't even realize how it worked. You were working there because you have to think of all the different mechanics of it. But that's good because it means you're in your body. Not your head when you actually, it sounds as if it's not mindful, but when you're having to focus on what you're doing in your body, you're actually more really in your body than your head. Okay, our last little foundation movement. I also love this for building strength. Now, there's lots of different levels. So just be, we want to go through the lower level today and we're going to get the basics. And then for some of you, as you progress, it's going to get a little easier. So we're going to stop by taking the right leg back and giving it a shake. And then we're going to hold that leg there. And then we're going to turn the leg so we're going to bend the knee and we're going to turn the knee out to the side. Let me just show you head on with that. So I'm taking the leg up, I bend it and then I open it out. So see, I'm kind of making a right angle and the glutes like massively engaged from there. Now, if that feels OK, you can push down into the left hand and you can reach the right arm up to the side. Might be on the hip. You might just be needed to steady yourself, but you're going to look towards the right. And we're gonna work on opening up. Oh, everything's working to stabilize you here. Just bring the hand down, bring the knee down. Now from here, right leg goes back. We're gonna take the hands a little further forward and wider. Okay, you're gonna almost like push that and um, turn foot back behind you. So the body goes back, it sweeps, it kind of floats back. And then we're gonna float forward, we're gonna brace. And we're going to bring the knee to the outer edge of your right elbow. Again, I'm going to show you from the front here. So knee to the outer edge of the right elbow. Now I can bring the body slightly forward over the shoulders and even bend the elbows. And it'll press up and back and sit back onto the heels. We're only going to do that once. And then we'll do the other side. And we'll do it one time. Yeah, right. Okay, left leg's going to go back. That's our start position. And just make sure the shoulder's not dropping down here, but push the earth away. We're braced. We bend the left leg. You open the knee out to the side. Start to look over the left shoulder. Okay, so we need to balance here. Key is that right hand. Push the earth away. We're going to be able to lift off from the inside. Maybe the arm lifts off. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're still steadying yourself. If you're wobbling, it's fine. Okay, stabilize the muscles working. Okay. Hand comes down, 
straighten up and look forward. Take the hands and pad them a little further forward and then bring this left knee to the outer edge of your left elbow. So even here is hard, just if you've got it in you, see if you can bend the elbows and have a little press up. Oh, <laughs> sit back onto the heels and to seed pose. So arms come alongside the body, head drops down, relax the shoulders, back to your seat, back to your place of safety. That's all the efforting we need in a morning, three times a week. Let the body process what it's done. Know that the rest is also the integration. It's as important as the efforting. Always get that balance. And now we're going to slowly just start to roll up. Going to lift off the hips. We're going to take a giant inhalation. Oh, and exhale, come down to bring the hands in front. We're going to tuck the toes, take the knees out, walk the fingertips back. I'm going to press down into the, the heels down and then open them out so the feet are parallel and drop the head. Stay there for a moment. Okay, come here. Rolling up slowly. The hips press forward, so it's like this unraveling to waken up. Hips press forward, belly opens up. We embrace the day with the arms out. The wild goddesses that you are. And release the arms down by the sides. Just come to this place of calm. Strong calm. Just go to the breath, breathing. Fully breathing in the new day, the new month, new season, and breathing out, just arriving. This is where you are now. Give me one step. One more step. Forward. So feel the power that lies within you. Go back to the seat. And nurture that seat. Okay, take one big inhalation of the arms. Coming up above the head. And then take an exhale and bring the hands down to the heart. And from my heart to your heart. Namaste and have a lovely day. Now, if you're um, shooting off, have a great day. If you're watching the recording, feel free. You're going to miss the next bit. It's just talking about the... Um, membership and things so um feel free to um email me if you're watching the recording you've got any questions but if you want to stay on i am here